This is the coronal section. Now you notice that this is the front of the brain. That is the corpus callosum. Then you have the lateral ventricles where you have the septum pellicidum. As we discussed that before, septum pellicidum, you cannot see that in the posterior horn of the lateral ventricles. So this is the anterior horns of the lateral ventricles, septum pellicidum. Here is the corpus callosum that makes the angle that goes to the front and makes the rostrum right here. This is the part of the rostrum of the corpus callosum. That is part of the genio right here. And then from here, it goes back and makes the body. As we discussed that before, the lateral side of the lateral ventricles in this section, you have the head of the nucleus, which is in the front. Then you will notice that you have part of the internal capsule right here, and then you have the putamen right here, and you will notice that putamen and cardionucleus actually they're one structure that the internal capsule comes here and separates the two. Cardionucleus and putamen, they have similar function and they are the same structure, and internal capsule is just getting into and cut this structure into two parts. Then we go a little bit farther back, and this is gonna be the section that we have. That's the continuation of the, the other one. Then again, you have the corpus callosum, septum pellicidum, and then lateral ventricle is gonna go all the way back toward the uh, caudal. And here you have the um, rostrum of the corpus callosum. This is not the third ventricle. This is still outside of the brain. And therefore, it is not going to be the diencephalon. This is the steel part of the telencephalon. This is the cotton nucleus right here. This is the internal capsule. And this is the pitamen. You do not see the globus pallidus because the pitamen is larger and is going to be acting like a shell and is going to cover the globus pallidus. So you may see the pitamen without the globus pallidus like this section. We do not have the globus pallidus in this section. But if I turn around and go a little bit farther caudally, you will notice that here you have the third ventricle as we have. This is the lateral ventricles. Here's the corpus callosum, septum pellicidum, fornix. And you will notice that here is the interventricular foramen Monroe that is going to connect the lateral ventricle to the third ventricle. Here is the genia of the fornix. And in this one becomes the columns of the fornix, which are heading toward the mammal body. Fornix starts from the temporal lobe from the hippocampus and it's going to be ending one of the terminal uh, area is going to be the mammary body in the diencephalon which are acting as part of the paper circuit which we're going to talk about at a later time for the memory function. Here is going to be the third ventricle. This is still in more anterior part and here is going to be the part of the thalamus. Here is part of the hypothalamic sulcus and this is going to be the hypothalamus and you can see that you have the optic uh, tracks right here, optic chiasm right here and this area right here as we look at that in the uh, whole brain on the base of the brain that's the tuber scenario. So this is the third ventricle at this area. As we discussed that here is the putamen we get to the caudal and now we have this structure right here which is the golos pallidus that is paler structure, and usually you can see the two parts of the golos pallidus. One is the external, one is the internal of the golos pallidus. Then you have the pitamen. This, this part right here is the internal capsule. Here is the external capsule. Here is the I'm sorry, extreme capsule right here. Between the two is the claustrum. Now we're going to go a little bit back. And here is the The next set of the section that we need to study, again, we are going back to the, to the back of the thalamus. This becomes the pulvinar. This is still the third ventricle right here. This part right here is part of the habilinal nucleus. The thing is that this hole right here is representing the cerebral salvius. The top of that is going to be the tectum. This part is closer to the encephalon. Therefore, this is the superior colliculi and that is going to be starting to form. And uh, this is going to be the habitual nucleus where you're going to have the pineal gland is going to be approaching up down here, which is being cut off. Habitual nucleus right here. But maybe we can see the posterior car measure on the other side. Maybe, maybe not. And... Uh, 
actually a thing is being cut up. This is the interthalamic adhesion right here, but uh, we cannot see that on this section. And uh, here we're gonna go down right here. This is still part of the internal capsule right here. Then you go to the midbrain, and this section is not quite preserved. But this is right here are the hippocampal uh, air structures. This is the hippocampus, this is the hippocampus. This white matter right here is gonna be the beginning of the fornix, which is called the fimbria. As we discussed that before, we're gonna be still finding the tail of the cotton nucleus on this side right here. And, uh, and the cotton nucleus is gonna extend. This is still the lateral ventricles. Anytime, anytime that you're gonna see the lateral ventricles, we need to find the cotton nucleus. That's the cotton nucleus right here. That's the cotton nucleus right here. And uh, we're gonna go a little bit back and you will notice that this is the back of the uh, lateral ventricles. Septum pellucidum is not seen. Here is the corpus callosum right here, and it's gonna make a loop, and this is part of the corpus callosum right here. This is the splenium of the corpus callosum. This is the back of the brain, and, uh, and uh, here you still might find right here, this is still not in most, uh, uh, posture horn of the lateral ventricle because you still have some of the cotton nucleus right here and uh, the cotton nucleus does not get to the occipital lobe it will not and uh, so we have the corpus callosum right here that is going to go down and uh, if you look at the mesial uh, fissure the I'm sorry the cellular fissure right here and you will notice that the deep to the cellular fissure you have the corpus callosum and uh, then you have the vasculature area that is going to come and join each other. And this arterial system, they are part of the anterior cerebral artery. Um.